Hey guys, it's Justin from Android Meter, and today we're going to take a quick look at Ubuntu Touch. The preview was released today for multiple Nexus devices, and we flashed it on our Nexus 10 and our Galaxy Nexus. Both are running Ubuntu 12.10, which isn't the official Touch uh, software, but it is the preview, and this is what they have so far. So at the top, you can see that you have multiple icons showing that you have messages, your volume, your network, and your battery. You also have your time, your date, and then you have Ubuntu's notification center. When flashing this onto your device, it comes with data already on the software so that it acts like it's already a usable used device. So on the phone, it shows that we have 14 tweets received. When you look at the tablet, they come with multiple accounts already set up. And the only one we can actually get into is the guest account, but that's because everything else is password protected. But when you go between them, you can see the different type of notifications. Like this one says five messages sent. This one says how far this person's walked. It's how many Facebook updates they have. So it looks like there will be different user accounts that you can set up to have different notifications. We're going to take a couple seconds to look at the phone version of Ubuntu and spend more time on the tablet because they suggest having a 2 gigabyte of RAM uh, minimum to run the software. So to get into the, out of the lock screen, you slide to the left, from the left, and then you have your all your apps just like if you were running Ubuntu on your computer. So to get to your home screen just go down to the bottom. From here you have your home, your apps, your videos, and at the bottom there's like a quick scroll bar that pops up when you're scrolling. To the left you have people and music. From home you can access your frequent apps, your people, the people that you talk to the most, and just everything that you use the most. So that way it's just little quick shortcuts that you use that you don't have to go searching for. To the right you have apps and these are your open apps that you already have open. Then again the apps you use most and then all the apps that you have installed. On both builds for the tablet and the phone none of the apps really work and the ones that do work are web based and you can't access too much and once you do link your account it doesn't actually sync up to your this phone it just keeps the dumb data from videos you can see that they have videos that are popular online and then ones that you can buy but when you go into them this is the lag and the bugs that we were finding earlier when you go into them you can buy or rent from either Amazon or from the Ubuntu store but neither of them work as of now. In people this is where you have your contacts when you click on a contact it opens up the person they open up their profile shows their Facebook their email their phone number everything that you would expect in contacts but it does it in a nice way it also shows like the recent Facebook posts Oops. To go back, all you do is swipe left to right and it'll show you your apps or you can just quickly swipe in. Of course, there this is running on 1 gig of RAM and this is a pre-build so it is going to be really laggy. All the way to the left is music and it's kind of like the video store where you can just buy music and you can see the recent music that you played. When you go to the top, there is a quick notification center where you pull down, but instead of like individually pulling these, you pull down one and then you just scroll left to right, matter on which one you want to get to. It's like on the far right, you have date and time. Then you can go back to the left. You have battery. You can do your brightness and everything there. You have networks. You can choose which network you want to be on. 
the ones well one thing we figured out is that you can't access any settings so if you have a locked network with a password protected you can't actually get into it with this beta build then you have sound where you can just mute the sound and then finally we have messages from here you can see every phone call and every text message any Facebook message, tweet, Skype, anything is all integrated into here. If you want to get rid of them, you just simply slide to the left or you slide to the right. When you want to go to your quick apps, the apps that you have set up to the side, you just slide. And then you can see that while you're hovering over next to something, it shows to the right of your finger what exactly you were looking at. One of the only apps that works so far is the camera. And when you open it, you can see that shows that it works properly. It's a little laggy. Um, you can switch to the front facing camera. Well, it was working earlier at least. And then you can also switch to video recording, change your flash options, or go into gallery. Gallery is interesting. The way they have it set up. Whoops. Let's go back into the gallery. It's very buggy, very touchy. Haven't been able to figure everything out. Whoops. See, that just shows a lot of more of the bugs. So let's go back to the main screen. And then we can go down to gallery. There we go again. It's not like in the gallery app either. It's just showing that most of these apps do not work yet. So back on the tablet, when you unlock the device, it shows up exactly like it is on the phone. It's a lot snappier because this is, of course, 2 gigs of RAM, what it's built for. Um, everything's pretty much the same. When you go into the top settings, you still do the little sliding. It's a little nicer because of the larger screen. You have more room to work with with your fingers and you can just access everything a lot more smoothly. Um, with this, I couldn't get it to work. It doesn't work all the time, but sometimes you can get the search function to work by swiping up from the bottom, but I'm not getting it to work again. With the tablets, it's the same thing where you slide in from the left and you can still access all your apps, but most of these don't work yet. And that's been a quick first look at Ubuntu Touch Preview on the Nexus 10 and Galaxy Nexus. Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook. Thanks.